Welcome again, star kids and friends. Today's passage we're reading is from Acts chapter 14, verses 8 to 20. You remember in the previous passage that Paul and Barnabas boldly shared the gospel at Iconium. Just like before, some people believed and some people rejected the message of Jesus. Once again, they were forced to leave the city and traveled on to Lystra. It was a Roman colony. And in today's passage, God healed a lame man, but the people misunderstood and thought Paul and Barnabas had done it and wanted to worship them. Paul and Barnabas had to share the truth with them and explain that it was God's power that had healed the lame man. So as we read today, let's start with prayer. Our gracious Heavenly Father, we thank you for your word. We thank you for the power that you have to heal. And we pray as we read your word today that you would open our eyes and our ears and our minds and our hearts to hear what you have to say. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, have you got chapter 14? Let's start reading at verse 8. In Lystra, there sat a man who was lame. He had been that way from birth and had never walked. He listened to Paul as he was speaking. Paul looked directly at him and saw that he had the faith to be healed. And he called out, stand up on your feet. At that, the man jumped up and began to walk. When the crowd saw what Paul had done, they shouted in the Lycaonian language, the gods have come down to us in human form. Barnabas they called Zeus, and Paul they called Hermes, because he was the chief speaker. The priest of Zeus, whose temple was just outside the city, brought bulls and wreaths to the city gates, because he and the crowd wanted to offer sacrifices to them. But when the apostles Barnabas and Saul heard of this, they tore their clothes and rushed out into the crowd, shouting, Friends, why are you doing this? We too are only human, just like you. We are bringing you good news, telling you to turn from these worthless things to the living God, who made the heavens and the earth and the sea and everything in them. In the past, he let all nations go their own way, Yet he has not left himself without testimony. He has shown kindness by giving you rain from heaven and crops in their seasons. He provides you with plenty of food and fills your hearts with joy. Even with these words, they had difficulty keeping the crowd from sacrificing to them. Then some Jews came from Antioch and Iconium and won the crowd over. They stoned Paul and dragged him outside the city, thinking he was dead. But after the disciples had gathered around him, he got up and went back into the city. The next day, he and Barnabas left for Derby. Well, what is God saying to you today in this passage? Have you thought about it? Maybe read the passage again and start writing down in your soap journal what God has been teaching you. Think about it carefully and don't forget the prayer and then don't forget to share it with someone else. <laughs>